Hey guys, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear, and we are continuing to play AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake. Uh, we're going to head back to the giggity giggity primary shaft, um, now that the lava has drained from that side, I'm assuming. And, uh... I'm not super great at shine sparking. I'm, I'm, I'm a casual Metroid player, for sure. But I do love it. Uh, okay. Let's uh, head up this way. Okay. Music's picking up beats again. Head back up this way. Whoop. There we go. And we're just gonna roll along. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Go down this way, and I'm gonna assume that the lava. Yeah! Lava's gone. Alright. Whoa, shit. Um, oh, cool. Punch a hole in that guy pretty nicely. Ow. Um, I'm just gonna shoot like mad. I guess I can't, I can't really shoot those guys very well. Very well. Um, this way? Safe station, cool. Take it. Ow. And, uh, there we go. We are ever so slowly making our way down into the depths of the planet. In fact, whoa, our ship is all the way up here. Holy crap. Um, yeah, we definitely have a ways to go. Things are getting kind of spooky colored. Yeah, see, this game, like most of the enemies in this game, are just kind of floating around. They just kind of get in your way. They're there to, like, give you health if you need it. But they definitely just kind of, like, get in your way. Where, you know, I think, like, Mercury Steam's adaptations has been much more of a, like, uh, everything's tr actively trying to, like, seek you out, find you, and kill you at, at all times. I say while these things are flying around, you know, trying to shoot me out of the sky, I guess. <laughs> but these enemies are few and far between, I think. You know, they're, like, really specific to this, to this area. We got six Metroids in this, in this location. Hmm. I never went down, but uh, I think I'm probably heading in the right direction. Oh, crap. Scanning environment. The tower. This facility is operating on an emergency power supply. Thermal readings indicate that there is at least one functional device located deep inside the building. Okay. We'll have to find the one functional device. Well, at least I can save my game in the, in the center here. down here. More lava. A Metroid husk. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. This is inviting. Sure. Alright. Oops. Let's go kill ourselves a Metroid. Oh, 
Oh, new form. Great. Oh, it's got bigger legs. Uh, the Zeta Metroid. Metroid. After a substantial transformation of its body, the Metroid's power and defense greatly improve. Though the Zeta Metroid can no longer fly due to its immense weight, its new leggies are strong enough to carry it and perform great bursts of speed. The arms can deliver powerful strikes and its mouth glands can spray a high corrosive substance. Its two prior forms were akin to a pupil phase. Discarding the Gamma Metroid's exoskeleton marked the beginning of its adulthood. Well, great. Leave me alone. Oh, man. Okay. Ow. Whoa. Damn, dude. Knocked me straight back into another room. Okay. Oh. That works. Okay, okay. I think I... Shit. I'm wasting super missiles. Let me get it right when it turns around. Bam. Okay, let's do one more time. I got a couple more supers. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Ow. Come on, one more, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're not so big. Come on. Oh. Oh, I'm actually tanking a bit too much damage. Let's be a little bit careful while I finish you off. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Alright. You're a bigger threat than I thought you would be. You get credit for that. Um... This music is super spooky, too. That's another thing. The Like I, like I was saying with Dread, the, the music sounds all like samey all the time. I really wish that the music kind of jumped out at you more and had more s something I could remember. Um, but, you know, I'm still new to playing the game, so maybe the tunes will grow on me. Oh, there's another Metroid husk over here, and I'm not ready for it. I need to go back to the save station and recharge my energy. That's a power bomb door. Oh shit. Are we gonna pick up power bombs soon? Okay. Ow. Get away from me. Ow, Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Alright. Alright, Jeff. what you get, Jeff. I don't have time for your shit.
I didn't even bother to name the the, the the big old Zeta Metroid or whatever. He doesn't deserve a name. He's just a big doofy jackass with legs. Oh. This looks interesting. Oh, that looks hella interesting. Closed off. Okay. Let's go down this way. Power bomb marker. Hmm. I can't do anything in here. Not yet, at least. So, I'm gonna have to come back to here once I pick up power bombs. This, uh, this location is really starting to look interesting. But they're definitely teasing me with the power bomb upgrade. That's gotta be it right there. Am I locked in here? It's not the power bomb. Is it? Hold on, how do I get how do I get out of here? I'm not doing something right. Did I not... Did I miss something? I'm definitely locked in here. Alright. What did we miss? Oh, look at that. Okay. Where are we headed? As far away from where we want to be. This is, uh, this is getting interesting. Okay, we'll go this way. Okay, what is this going to do? Are we powering up the station? Oh, shit. Log entry updated. The immense tower houses a weapons R&D facility. Oh, man. The robots patrolling within are combat drones equipped with weapon prototypes and advanced shield plating. They possess superior AI and are programmed to fire at any living target, keeping the tower sterilized of organic matter very efficiently. Proceed with caution. Look at this background. This is a fan game. I still can't open this door, though. It's outside. Oh, man. Look at these little things. They're like fixing up the station. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice try there, pal. came from down below. Oh, do we need to make our way back to get to the power bomb? Ow. Okay, I see what we gotta do. Uh, that was bad. Okay. Shit. Alright. Doing okay. Oh, not doing okay. What the hell? Scanning mechanism. Log entry. The tester. The unit performs 360 live fire tests of prototype weapons. Scans indicate the exterior armor is resistant to beam weaponry, while the interior is further protected by an energy field that repels solid projectiles. 
Auto repair systems in the cannons can mend all damage within seconds. Schematics reveal these systems were applied due to earlier models' cannons being exposed to exceedingly violent tests. Similar to your power suit, the unit's modular design allows for the addition and removal of equipment. Oh, man. So missiles are the only things that will affect the outer, the outer plating. Is that right? side is exposed to beam weapons. bunch of health and ammo. It's great. We're slowly building up health. Whoa, that's new. Come on. Come on. Ow. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, yes. Yes, give it all to me. <laughs> Boom. You're done. Screw this. I'm out of here. Wait, there's something in this room somewhere. Power bomb. Can't get it yet. Oh, we're almost we're almost to the to the we're almost there. Yes. The plasma beam. It's not the it's not the power bombs. Oh boy. We are slowly getting powerful. Oh yes. Okay, cool. All 
All right, we don't have power bombs, so we can't get the upgrade in there, but we can walk out here. Oh, I saw a Metroid egg. Oh, what's over here? Oh, great. Come on, Jeff. Super missile your ass. Alright, maybe I won't. Maybe I suck. I'm just all excited, I got a brand new beam upgrade. Anything else up here? No, I guess that was it. Okay, cool. We're down to three Metroids in the area. So we're doing okay. Um, I say we head down. Ooh, do I think I have enough health to take this? Let's save first. Now that I know where it is. Okay. This whole facility is active now. This is super cool. Feeling incredibly badass. Let's go take out some Metroids. And first up is you, right? You. Okay. Yeah, I know how to deal with you now. Oh, I wasted a super missile. Alright, we're out of super missiles, but I got some good hits in them, on them, so that's okay. What else you got for me? Alright. He's getting little pot shots in on me. I'm not happy with that. Come on, turn around. Okay, putting up a bigger fight than I than I expected, that's for sure. Oh, you're done. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I spoke too soon, buddy. Steve. Steve and his friends are all hanging around in this uh, doofy tower. Alright. Let's go up. There's definitely stuff up here. Ooh, another save station. Oh, I wish I would have found this earlier. Okay, cool. Let us continue. Oh, there was a there was a dude up here. Okay, log entry. GFR J Canolan. Most sentient species in the Federation regard the extinct Harbonius Chozo with utmost respect, and as an example of what any civilization drowning in violence should strive to become. But this tower I've scanned, a dedicated weapons factory, certainly puts that view into question. Yet, I remain positive. Surely the Chozo resorted to this when they discovered the Mertroids on SR388. Any pacifist would have, after facing those monsters. The climb was certainly worth the view. It's a shame my colleagues aren't alive to see this. Oh, man. Um, let's see, what do we got over here? Another Metroid. If we can take this one out, get rid of another Steve, then there will be one. Damn 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. And then there was one. Okay. Oh, we've reached the roof. Whoa, whoa, what, what is all, hold on. What is this? Is a giant, is that a giant Chozo? Giant Chozos holding up a uh, planet? This is crazy. Get inside. I bet I can get to that energy tank from here. Oh, and it looks like there's a missile upgrade in here as well. Bam, energy tank. Okay, cool. I like the the use of the uh, the background theme that's playing right now. Okay, there's got to be. I must have to get to that from a different direction. I could I could use a another missile upgrade. I haven't gotten one in a while. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got it. Okay, let's get out of here. This is crazy cool. I, I That's what I love about this fan game. It's like SR388 becomes a, a really interesting and complex character of its own. Am I going the right way? Um, this way. up here. No, this is just the roof. Oh, there's there's an upgrade up there somewhere. I guess I can jump on those guys. That's nice. Oh, oh, snap. I found it. Oh, shh. Totally random. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, where have I not gone yet? This whole area has been been searched. There was this one, this one, uh, this one here, these two. I haven't gone down here. I think that's all lava, though. this. There's still one Metroid in the area. Oh, man. Where is it going to be? We, uh, we took care of all these external paths. Maybe we gotta go down. something down there that I just don't know about. Well, I guess not. Um, I'm a little stumped. I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the episode for a bit. Oh, shh. And um, I'm gonna figure out like where I need to go. Got it. 
Um, and then we'll see. We'll see where that is. I honestly, I'm not sure. Actually, you know what I'll do here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back to the save point. Because we're getting close to the end of the episode, anyways. So I'm gonna go to the save point, save my game, and then I'll tell you what. On the next episode of A Rabbit's Tale, we'll figure out where this last Metroid is hiding, and we'll go and we will kill it. I'll see you guys then. Take care.